is one of the first things you're going to want to do. Go to your NVIDIA control panel down here. Just like this. And you're going to want to have ambient occlusion off. Application controlled for anisotropic filtering. Anti-icing off. Drama correction on is fine. Anti-aliasing mode. Application controlled is fine. You can mess with these settings, but typically if you're going for performance, you just want to leave it all off or have it as application controlled. The one thing that you want is virtual, uh, virtual reality pre-rendered frames. You want that to be one. Virtual sync. Vertical, uh, vertical sync, uh, use the 3D application setting. Um, some people like to turn the cap off in the game and then set their vertical uh, sync on and let that cap their frame rate. That can be up to you. I personally think you should cap your frame rate um, because it's wasted frames. You'll, you'll get a smoother gameplay that way. The next step that you need to do is go to program settings. Find Quake Champions here. Amongst all your games, Quake Champions, etc. That's fine. And then you'll get met with this uh, list of settings. You can have all your glo everything global here, everything application controlled. You, you're good with that. What's important, maximum pre-rendered frames, you're going to want to have set to one. That will make a difference. All of this, you know, map monitor technology. If you have special settings with this, I mean, you can mess with it. Make sure power management mode is set to max, uh, prefer maximum performance. This, I believe the default is not maximum performance. So this will help a lot. Then you scroll down to the bottom. Threaded optimization. This is another big one. This one will help a lot because what this does, it kind of offloads the workload of your, your uh, GPU onto your processor, which you don't want going on, especially with a game like Quick. As for the settings in NVIDIA, that's about all you need to know. All right, the next step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, delete your app data folder. And the first step to doing that is going to be uh, typing cache sign app data, cache sign in your, uh, your search bar down here, click here, and it's going to bring this up. It's going to default to roaming up here. You can also go the, the, this way as you see here, but you're gonna to wanna to go back one directory, go to app data, then you're gonna to wanna to go to local. You're gonna see ID software right here. Then you're gonna have Quake Champions, click there, delete the folder, that's it. Delete it. And then when you enter back into the game, you'll lose not your uh, you won't lose your keyboard binds, mouse settings, all that, but your video settings and some of your uh, HUD related settings will be out of whack. You're going to have to change them back. Um, but. This most of the time, especially after patches or updates or any changes, will remove any stuttering that you have in the game. If I don't see some action soon, I'm going to start flipping tables. The cringiest thing. All right. So, when it comes to getting good FPS in this game, if you've noticed that uh, after deleting the app data folder, all your settings will be out of whack. So you'll have to change them back. I recommend a horizontal FOV. I know that that uh, horizontal FOV of 115. I know that that has nothing to do with frame rate, but you're, if you're new, you should give it a try. Um, you can do use FPS counter so you you have an idea of what's going on.
Now, when it comes to this, if you're purely going for for performance, what you're going to want to do is simply do this. Everything set to low. Now, if you want to have really good performance, but you want the game to look good, set everything to low. And then just set texture quality to high. If you do this, the game will look wonderful. It will look really good, but it, you'll still get a lot of performance out of it because the lighting, the shadow quality, and the effects quality eat up a lot of the resources, you know, things like that. So you can still get away with ultra texture quality, and you don't need a monstrous computer for that. I personally don't care. I just run everything on ultra because I just want to play on ultra, and I get a solid 150 FPS. So I don't care. All right, the next step that you're going to want to do um, is you're going to want to go to the folder that Quake Champions uh, executable is located in. All right, I just brought it up since that's the easiest way to do it. There's other ways that you can do it. Um, if you have Steam, um, this is where it's going to be located. In this directory, you can just type this in. I'll leave it up for a second. Another option that you can go with, you can go to Steam. Go to Library. Go to Properties. Also, something else that's kind of buggy that you're going to want to remove is enable Steam Overlay while in game. You're going to want to turn that off. I leave it on because I don't care. Um, and you're going to want to turn this off. I don't know why. Actually, I don't know why that's on. But anyway, you need to uh, disable these. When you go to local files, you can also click browse local files and it will bring it will bring your uh, it will bring this folder open for you so that you don't have to type type it in you can go to client and bin pc and then that will bring you to the champions folder those are the two ways also if you have any issues clicking here and doing verify integrity of game files could also resolve one of your issues if you're having an issue but anyway, that's a set. you just run that and that's it. That's all you have to do. All right, for this executable, you want to right click, go to properties, compatibility, disable full screen optimizations. You're going to want to turn that on. Some people want to turn this off. I don't think so. But you're going to definitely want to disable full screen optimizations. I, d I don't that may actually solve something. You can you can fiddle with this. And see what you want to do. I haven't had any problem with it working or not. Why? OK. And you're done when it comes to that. All right, the next thing that you're going to want to make sure that you have done is go down here, type in power, and uh, you should have a power option maybe up here, or choose a power plan, edit power plan. Um, select high performance, then go to change plan, then go to change advanced power settings. Now, this can this can affect things a lot, so... What you're going to want to do is if you have a laptop and you're connected with a uh, dock, you're going to want to turn this stuff off. P 
PCI Express, you're going to want to have this, uh, this off. You want to make sure that that's off. Processor power, maximum power state, you're going to want that to 100%. Make sure it's 100%. Make sure minimum power processor state is 100%. System cooling pro policy needs to be active. That's what you're going to want to have set, just like that. All right. Um, if you have a Zowie mouse um, or a mouse that doesn't have a, a control panel, like, for instance, the Logitech mice do, you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to go to control panel. And you're going to want to go to mouse. And then I recommend setting this to six so you have a standard basis to go with. I would leave this at its default value so it's always there. And then go from there within game. Um, they have online calculators if you're jumping from game to game to make all your sensitivities the same. Um, but make sure you go into pointer options and see enhance pointer precision. Make sure that this is unchecked. You do not want this. This is not good. It's a mouse filtering and it's not going to benefit you at all. 